Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. In today's video, I will cover how we can pass collection from Power Apps to Power Automate. This is a very common scenario which you will face in your day-to-day -day Power Apps development. So let's get started. To demonstrate it, I have created one SharePoint list which I will use as my database. This is one list called appraisal list. In this, I have column called name, feedback and department. So managers will submit their reportees feedback which will come and get stored in the SharePoint list. As a front end, I will use this Power Apps. Manager will use this Power Apps to pass this data. So what they will do, they will come over here, select their reportees name, select the feedback department and they will submit. So our flow would be like one manager will submit the data from here. On click of the submit, I will call one Power Automate flow which I will create and that Power Automate flow will update the SharePoint list. Now, I have to pass this data to the Power Automate. For example, I have five reports, so I will add all the five reports data over here. Then I have to pass that collection to the Power Automate. Power Automate will process that collection and in return will update the SharePoint list. So how we will do that? Let's see. Now, before I go ahead and create a collection, one thing is, so manager will come over here they will add one entry for example a test user feedback and department and when they will click on add we need to create some data table to show them this record got added before they can go ahead and add the uh, feedback for another reportee or before they go ahead and click on submit for that what i will do i will add one more control called data table which is present in our power apps i will use that this is my data table and what I will do, this data table needs data source to uh, display the data. For that, what I will do, I will create one collection. What we will do, on click of this add icon, I will create a collection. I will say collect VR data, comma. Now, I will be passing these three fields. So, I will create an object. And inside the object, I will create three properties, name, and what would where, from where I will get the value from this combo box. So this is CB underscore name dot selected dot. I will pass this email because I know in my SharePoint, this is a personal group field. So this is done. Next property is feedback. DD underscore feedback dot selected text dot value. This is how I can get the value from the drop down. This is done. And last is this department. So department is dd underscore department dot selected text dot value. Selected text dot value. We'll call this parenthesis. This is also done. So this is my collection is ready now. And I will pass this collection. Before that, I will show you. So this is my collection. We are data. These are the three properties, name, feedback, department. I, I will get the value from the controls which is present in my Power Apps. In your case, it could be different, but the structure would remain the same. Only this object properties and value will differ. So automatically you can change it. Next, what I'll do, I will select this data table. Source is VR data. This is done. Now I have to select the fields. I'll go over here in the property pane, edit fields add field name feedback name department feedback done so the sequence in the sequence in which i have selected the field in the same sequence they have appeared it over here this is done now i'll just move this uh head above expand the width that's it so this is fine let's go ahead and now play now what i'll do I'm a manager. I will select the user. Let's say test user. My I know my reporting name is test user 01. Feedback is exceptional. Department is HR at. I have another reporting called test user 02. Feedback is good. I'll change the department finance. Again, feedback for three. This is average IT. So and so on. I'll just create a collection with five users. Need improvement operations and then test user 05 exceptional this is marketing so my collection is ready now and you could see 
my manager can see over here the, okay this is the data and i want to submit so what we will do when user will click on submit as i said we will create a power automate flow so first go ahead and let's create a power automate flow so what i will do from here also i can do but what uh, let's go to the solution because everything is present in my solution so i'll say automation new cloud flow and automated flow i want first i have to select a trigger wait okay my name would be update appraisal list fine trigger i will search power apps sometimes it gives some issue over here maybe some space or something like that so what i found is it just click on skip and it's very convenient to search over here now over here you could see this power apps i will use this power app version 2 now because i will pass that collection so i have to use one input parameter over here of text type we do not have any such uh, object type over here or json object nothing like that so you will use for your object you will use text for your collection you will use text input name you can give any name i will give vr data that's it as a next step i have to use you know sharepoint because i have to update the item in my sharepoint list i will say sharepoint create item create item here it is i will select my site url that is my poc site over here poc site from here i will select this list called appraisal done you will see all your columns over here name feedback and department these three we will get from power apps uh, output this trigger will give us now what we have to do before i call my power automate okay i'll add one more compose action over here and i will tell you why because i want to see the output which i will get from this trigger so to see the output i will use this compose action and i will pass vr data done so this is done and now first i will add this flow in my power app i will trigger it once and then i will come back and update the rest of the flow so i will wait for it this save to get completed this is done uh, update appraisal list i don't know why it has not taken that name update let's come over here go to your power automate add flow update appraisal list is not there feedback list is there but we want to see refresh ah update appraisal list is present now so now i have got my power automate flow i will call this on click of submit button submit button is over here i'll say update how we can call the power automate using this run method flow name dot run method over here i want to pass my collection that is vr data now you will see this error what it is saying the function run as some invalid argument so i cannot pass my collection directly i can only pass it in the form of json for that i will use this json function which is available with me json formula what it will do the data structure to be converted to json it will convert my collection to json and now you will see there is no error and that's it from the power app side so the learning from the power app side is if you are passing the collection convert it in the form of json using this json function that's it now now what i will do because i want to, to see the output of this so i have to run this flow i will click on submit i will go over here everything is done it's ready submit and it's done now i'll go to my flow i'll refresh it from here i will check the run history and from there i we will go update appraisal list click on it this is the run history succeed i need just data from the compose action okay so this is my power apps you could see this input is this this is the input which we have got you could see title vr data and required text and this is the output which has come department hr feedback and everything compose same thing so what i will do i will copy it from here and 
I will keep it safe somewhere over here. So what I'll do, I'll delete this. And this is present in my notepad now. And I'll tell you why we need this. Next is because it is present in the form of JSON. So I have to use pass JSON action, which is, you know, a common thing. Now let's go and add this pass JSON. Add an action. Pass JSON. Done. Content input I will give directly which we are getting from power apps we are data I don't need this compose also now I will delete it now this pass JSON will ask me the schema from where I will get this schema which we have copied from the compose action that's why I've used that compose action and I have triggered my flow once just to get this schema generate from sample I will copy paste as it is done this is my schema and now I will use this create item name claim enter custom value directly scroll down name and because you know it is a collection so automatically a loop got added feedback for the feedback i'll use feedback for the department i'll use department this is done so guys this is how we can pass collection from power apps to power automate so this was quick but before we close let's quickly test it now this is save your flow is ready i'll save one more time everything is looks fine but before i cannot um, you know click on the submit button again because i have made modifications in my flow so i have to refresh my flow over here i just wanted to make sure that saved action is complete fine now i'll refresh refresh is also done come over here now i will submit this and now let's see if we can see the data in my sharepoint list and yeah all the records got updated you could say one two three four five my power automate runs successfully and it has added all the records so guys this is uh, for today's video this is how you can pass data from Power apps to collection from the power app side just make sure you need before you pass it to the power automate use this json function to convert it to json and vice versa over here you have to use this pass json to parse it and then you can use it to get this uh, schema either you can use it uh, compose action or here also uh, while you will run the check the run history you will also uh, get the output over here so from either of the action you can get the this schema and just copy paste as it is over here and that's it so guys thank you for watching today's video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos till our next video much love keep learning